Hey crazy friends, it's Jay from Find You Crazy uh, here with another tip Tuesday. Uh, today we're going to talk about one of the hardest parts of living in a camper with a lot of people. You know what one of the worst parts about living in a camper with a lot of people is? It's all the feet. That's right. There's big feet and little feet and stinky feet. Everybody's got feet. You know what? It's actually not the feet. The feet are not that bad. Everybody's only got two of them anyway, right? The real problem of living with that many feet in a camper is all of the shoes. Yeah, they're everywhere. Today we're gonna to talk about a way that you can help store some of those shoes. Yeah, so today we're gonna to talk about shoe storage because it is a big issue. And the bigger your family, the more feet, the more shoes. Cause it's really not just about the feet. Cause I mean, most people just have two. Well, everybody in our family just has two feet. But on those feet, they got to have lots of different kinds of shoes. Cause when you travel, you kind of gotta be ready for everything. So every single person has got tennis shoes and hiking shoes and sandals and water shoes and church shoes, and then some of them used to have to have cute shoes. And that adds up to a whole lot of shoes. In fact, I just did a quick count. And on with us in this camper, you know what? We have 43 pairs of shoes. Yep, that's right, 43. And all those shoes, they gotta go somewhere. And for us, we really don't like wearing shoes much inside the camper because it tracks in and out so much stuff. And so we try to keep them at the door so that means there's just a whole lot of on and off and where's my shoes and where's this shoe. But we have found a couple of solutions. And so today in our Tip Tuesday, we're gonna to talk to you about three of my favorite. So one of the first methods that we used and still one that we use uh, is a big old bucket. Um, one of these buckets with a clip on lid uh, that we keep outside the door right at the base of the steps and it's great because kids can just throw their shoes in it it's really really good for summertime with the crocs and the sandals that just go on and off real easy they don't have to be tied or anything they just slip them off throw them in there and then they walk up in there uh, and then it just clamps on at night so no rain or anything gets in there and they can slide right on the edge of the camper uh, and then on move day we just pick it up stick it right inside the door um, and it's the first thing to come back out right when we get there we really like this um, because one, it keeps all the shoes, or these kind of shoes, um, outside, which is good because uh, we got some stinky feet people in here. I'm not gonna name any names, um, but it keeps those stinky shoes uh, closed up and outside. And it also helps with tracking in the sand and things. But then there are also just some shoes, like tennis shoes and stuff that just have to be tied, that take a little longer. You don't want people sitting on the ground outside while they're doing that. And so this isn't a great solution for those. Uh, and it's also not a great solution for adult shoes. And so we've got a couple of other options. So the next option is the one that I actually use for my shoes. Uh, and it works great for a few pair of shoes. Unfortunately, it's not big enough for everybody, but it works really, really great for me. Um, so in it's this shoe storage tub. So this actually came from Ikea. Um, we actually didn't get it from Ikea. We got it at a campground swap meet where somebody else just put it on a donation table and we picked it up uh, and have loved it. In fact, the next time that we get near an Ikea, I may get another one to go right here beside it. Uh, so the beauty thing, full thing about this this is it opens up like this it attaches to the wall uh, and so it doesn't go anywhere it fits great right up underneath all of our jackets uh, and it will hold four pair of my shoes two pair of hiking shoes um, my water shoes and a pair of flip-flops fit in there uh, and it's great they just pop in and out it stays out of the way you can even uh, put a couple of pair of shoes up on top of it as well so during the winter uh, I have a pair of house shoes that I wear here just inside the camper and they stick right up here and it's great everything stays in there um, it's self-contained down in here and so like all the dirt from the shoes just stays in there so every now and then you just have to vacuum it out uh, so this is another great solution from ikea that i personally love so the last one took a little more effort um, but it is by far our favorite one that we have uh, and the reason is it's also right here by the door and right by the door is just such a great place for the shoes because they don't track further into the house everything's caught on this big rug that we have and we just have to shake it out a couple of times a day because all the shoe stuff stays right here and so the last one is actually one that i built and we redeemed some hidden space in your camper um, and that's right here under this bottom step now, if you've got a travel trailer 
trailer, obviously you're not going to have any steps, uh, and so you're probably not going to have this secret storage place. Um, but if you've got a fifth wheel, for sure, every fifth wheel that I've looked at um, has had this hollow space right here. So behind the second step is where the furnace is at. Uh, when I originally designed this, I was hoping that I could get further back up in there, but the furnace fills that spot um, and it leaves a gap. Um, but there was nothing in this step. It was just dead space. And so, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get footage of me building it because it was just so tight. Um, but I'll tell you, it was super, super simple. Um, all I did was tear the wood piece off the top. I mean, literally with just a pry bar, uh, pried it off, took all those nails out. Uh, and then up underneath it, uh, I built out of uh, plywood just a box. And so I took the exact measurements uh, of what the space was. Uh, and ours actually goes a little bit further back uh, than just right here at it slips up in there. So I literally just built a five-sided box that was open on top, dropped it down in there, screwed it in the size, and then used a piano hinge to put the lid that I took off right back on. And so I just recycled this piece of wood. Uh, and then the trim piece uh, right here on the front just nails in the top, and so it fits perfectly. Uh, and this will hold, uh, oh gosh, with it holds all the twins and the two littles. It holds two pairs of their shoes each. Uh, Christopher has gotten a little bit too big now and so his don't really fit in there or they take up too much space. Uh, and so this is a great, great option. You don't have to have uh, a lot of construction skills. I mean, I promise you uh, a few screws, a scrap piece of plywood, uh, piano hinge, and you're good to go. So that's our best tips on shoe storage. Obviously, the more people you have, the more shoes you're gonna have. And so your problem probably won't be uh, some 50 shoes I recounted, I missed some. Some 50 pairs of shoes big, uh, like our family, um, but you're still gonna have shoes that you're gonna need to keep up with, uh, and especially if you're a family. These are some of our best tips and tricks uh, to keep those shoes from tracking as much dirt inside, from smelling as much inside, and just keeping them out of the way. So if you haven't followed our channel, we would love for you to do that. You can catch our Tip Tuesdays, you can catch our regular Friday travel vlogs, uh, and you can also catch our Sunday uh, Crazy Faith messages uh, all wrapped up here in just one channel. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss a thing. See you next time, guys.